Turn your Bibles, please, to Luke 21 chapter. Amen. Last Sunday was Pentecost Sunday. Amen. Amen. And you came and you met God at the mountain of God. Amen. Amen. And God gave you that word that He had for you. Praise God. Amen. He gave me the word. God did. When you took your time, when you took time and you opened it and you read it, was the anointing of God there? Amen.
It wasn't just any word. It was the word just for you. Amen. And it was the word just for you, Joyce. Amen. And it was the word just for you, Sam. And for you, Ron. Yes, sir. It was just the word for everybody. Amen. 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 And when you read the word, it meant something that pertained to you. Amen. 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 That's right. It pertained right. to you. Right. God put his finger on it for you. Amen. That anointing that was on it was for you. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. And the anointing of God was for you, Sister Silver. Amen. Amen. And for you, Amen. Amen. It was just for you. He made it just for you because he loves you. Amen. 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 Now, if we need to, we need to look, and we look on the board, and what does it say? Where were your journeys with Jesus? Amen. Amen. Where will your journey with Jesus take you? It's your choice. Well, I'm 
the same time, he cares so much about you. Yeah, he do. You can take it either way you want to take it. Oh, I'm so scared. God knows everything about me. Yeah, he does. And he wants to fix it. Yeah, he does. That's right. Yeah, he do. You can take it in great joy that God knows everything about me. Yeah. Amen, George. And if he knows everything about me, he knows my needs. And he will meet my needs according to his glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. He knows my broken heart. He can fix yes. it. He can change it. He can heal it. Yes. And if you got every scar, preach. Every body that you got. Yes. Man, I know that's right. Take right. it any way you want it. Oh, yes. That's right. It's up to you. Right. But God ain't changed a bit, and oh, He yeah. won't change. Amen. He's still a healing God. Amen. Still Thank <laughs> you. 
to them about everything that had happened and how he must come and how he must work the works of God and how he must suffer. To think about it, on the road, Jesus walking with you, you may not be hearing the things you want to hear. You may not be hearing what you want to hear. But by God, you're going to hear what you need to hear. And they just look at him, look at him, they get to the place, and this is the good part, what's all good with it. Amen. They get to the place, amen? Yes. They get to the place where they sat down. They got to the meeting place. After that long walk and after the storm had, had, had gone through and after the storm had passed and after this and after that, after everything had taken place, they got to the place. They got to the place where, you know, the place where after you've gone through hell, and you can take a deep breath, but you still don't feel it like you used to feel it. You just have a little bit of ease about yourself. And, and they got to that place. When you need a whole lot more. And you need God to move in your life. You recognize that you need God at that place. You recognize that God has to do something in that place. Man. They got to that place. And then they at that place. And they sat down. And he began to talk to them. And they began to eat. And it says, and he broke the bread. And he was gone. And all of a sudden they began to reason amongst themselves. <coughs> he said that their eyes were open. Man. And he was gone. That's right. Did you hear me? Their eyes were open to the word. Their eyes were open to Jesus. Their eyes were open to all that had taken place. And they said we should have known it. Yeah. That he was by our side. We should have known that he was right there through all the turmoil and through all the catastrophe and through the storm and through the night. We should have known it because didn't our hearts burn when he began to break forth the bread of life? Didn't it burn when the word of God began to stir within us? Didn't it burn? Amen. What are you talking about? I'm telling you this. You need to keep walking on that road to the Amen. Because God said that it leads and ends up at the place of manifestation. Amen. It ends up at the place of a life change. Yes. That you can change it yourself. Amen. But as you are walking with Jesus and if Jesus is walking with you and you are getting told some things you don't want to hear it. And God doing some things you really didn't want him to do. Amen. Hear me? Amen. As you are walking with the word and the word working with you and working on you. And you at work. And God is dealing with you at work. You try to get busier. And God is dealing with you as you try to get busy. And you come home and instead of you sitting there and doing nothing and relaxing and reading your Bible, you try to get busy again. I gotta cut the grass. I gotta paint this. I gotta do that. But God is right there with you as you're trying to paint this. As Amen. you're trying to do this. As you're trying to avoid Him. Amen. He's still right there. Yeah, right. that's right. And you still get told. Yeah. Still getting convicted. Yeah. But that's all right. That means He said He never leave you nor forsake you. You can't shake Him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. When he gets you, you come to the place. Your own man. You come to the place of manifestation. You come to the place of a great breakthrough with God. You come to the place where yes. God reveals himself in a way that you've never seen him before. Back to that he brought you through all that. He 
brought you through when you was acting so busy. He brought you through when you were trying to evade him. He brought you through when he was right there all the time. Like John's heart says, he was there all the time. Waiting patiently in line. Amen? Amen. Psalm said, he said, I sent my word and it healed them. I sent my word and it healed them and delivered them. You heard Kleenex, please. I sent my word. Amen. Amen. I sent my word. Oh, that's 
Amen? Amen. It got to the place. The songwriter said, some through the waters, some through the flood, some through great sorrow, but all through the blood. Amen. Amen? And Jesus is right there with us as we go through. Now see, think about this is, we need, and God wants you to be encouraged today. Because we were there at the mountain of God. We received the word, and God said, now we're going to take a journey into the promised land. And all these stops are different stops on the way to the promised land. There are different stops on the way to Canaan, where the grapes are big as your head. The, oh, glory to God. And the abundance is so much so that they had to have stains. Glory yeah. yeah. rich with the anointing of God in your life. Amen. And the blessings of God. So there's little, it's a little rest stop, but you're not going to take a rest. Amen? Amen. There are little places just like today. Places of breakthrough. You know you don't know, need all these rough things. But there's a place of breakthrough. God has a breakthrough for you today. He has a breakthrough for you today. Like we sang the song. Standing somewhere in the shadows. But then God says, but you'll know him by the male friend in his hand. You're going to know him today how you know him. Somebody broke the bread, it says, and they knew and their hearts began to burn. And God says, some of you, God's going to reveal himself in a totally different way in your life. And you're going to know that that's God and God Almighty. That is God. That's God. And no matter what happens, going forward, when that's there, it's God. Amen. 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 God wants to be here today. He's the only one that can. He's the only one that can cut in. He said, I set my word and it healed. It healed. It healed. Oh, I can believe it. It healed. Amen. Are you ready for your healing today? Yes. Are you ready for your breakthrough today? Yes. If your heart is broken, if your mind is shattered in healing. Yeah. Yeah. If you've broken your body in healing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If your attitude is jacked up in healing. Yeah. Yeah. If your spirit is hard in healing. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yeah. If your walk is crooked. There you go. He can yeah. straighten your walk. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. 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 If your hands are messed up. Yeah. There you go. If your eyes are left up, you can look over. Yeah. If your heart yes. is cold yeah. and or lukewarm, yes. you can feel it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus. For he said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. And just pray. Call me. I'm the Lord. He's with you.